Tuesday added another piece to this incredibly complicated puzzle. About 60 people stranded at East Rosebud Lake. The road in completely washed away. Enter these Chinook helicopters, which brought a lot of that group here to the Red Lodge evacuation shelter. They were planning on us being there two to four weeks. That's kind of like what was in our head. Nicole O'Shea thought her weekend camping trip had just turned into a month long survival test. Red Lodge is a disaster. Gardner's a disaster. Like they'll get to us when they get to us. O'Shea's son was able to get his car out Sunday, but by the time she got back from breaking down camp, the road was no longer a road. It was this river. The road was completely washed out. Right. Basically, no road in and no road out. That was around four in the morning Monday when Dale Hayes, a 30 year East Rosebud resident, knew there was a problem. But like most of the people in the tight knit Alpine community, she didn't panic. My daughter used to have a book, How to Survive Any Situation, and I, you know, we were just sort of running through our mind what we needed and what was missing and what we could do. The group met Tuesday morning around 10 a.m. to basically figure out how to survive for the foreseeable future. In that meeting, all of a sudden we heard a helicopter and we're like, what is that? It was so wild. I don't even know what it's called, but this giant sky bus, <laughs> like it was huge, just dropped in the middle of camp. Next thing they knew, they were on a Montana National Guard Chinook, landing at the Red Lodge Airport just in time for lunch at the Red Cross evacuation shelter. Once we got to the helicopter, a phenomenal experience that was so smooth and so it felt incredibly safe. It was the fourth National Guard rescue mission in 24 hours in the area. Two people rescued from Roscoe, two from Fromberg, and eight more from Cook City. Just another example of rising to the challenge. None of us were expecting it. We were just, we were, <laughs> we were just overwhelmed in a good way. <laughs> in Red Lodge, Casey Conlon, MTN News.